So, hi, I'm Lucy, I'm 33 years old and I'm from Belgium. Uh, and um, yeah, on the side of that, uh, <laughs> I am uh, just about to finish my master in sustainable business and innovation at uh, the University of Utrecht. Um, before that, I did a bachelor in business engineering back in Belgium where uh, yeah, I learned a lot about businesses. Uh, I learned also a bit too much about how to make money for people that already have a bit too much money. Uh, so yeah, I needed to kind of uh, find something more me meaningful. And the reason why I uh, decided to pick this master uh, here in Utrecht. Um, and yeah, I I'd say I strongly believe in uh, the power similar or different people can have when they come together around similar goals and when they create meaningful solutions together. Uh, and I'd say that, yeah, today's political and ecological climate really uh, prove that and uh, and how now it's very urging us to collaborate and co-create together even more. Um, so that's what I'd say I, I believe in. <laughs> and I'm still figuring out where exactly I want to uh, play in these uh, movements, but yeah, I definitely want to be part of it. So that's about it. <laughs> well, I have to do a thesis for my master, right? And I wanted to do something uh, connected with local food uh, and also in like because well, that's where uh, I was. Um, and then I was sort of like, okay, I want to do something with local food, but also with people and how people again collaborate together. Uh, and I got uh, introduced by local to local through my supervisor. Uh, and yeah, after uh, I guess two, one, two meetings together, the topic of the thesis was uh, set up. And uh, yeah, I basically wrote my thesis with the help of local to local and um, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, well, it was mostly about thesis, right? So the topic was about how um, collaboration between local actors in this local food system of Utrecht could um, be enhanced to then uh, scale up local food, which was a very, very interesting topic because I got to interview so many interesting people and again, supported by uh, the networking connections of, of local to local um, and in the same time, uh, Thanks again to local to local. I really got the chance to uh, join super interesting events more in the political uh, landscape of, of Utrecht and, and uh, discover and get a bit more the inside of uh, what was happening in there. Because um, yeah, local food is very political. I definitely learned that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say that um, the main like key takeaway of, of this whole experience was uh, all like meeting all these super motivated people and and yeah all these learnings that I, I did and I made with that I'd say well I'd say uh, well again what I said right about this idea of uh, local food being super political and everybody wanted to do something in their own way and then uh, sometimes like come on people just talk together and then just go further that like it will be okay <laughs> so well, I mean, I think at first I was definitely very idealistic and thinking, well, they just all want the same anyway, right? They do local food, so they must Logical. Yes. work, like, want to all work together. Uh, after that, well, you discover that there is also some private interest in the way and some, yeah, relationship that at the end cannot work, which is also fine. Uh, mm -hmm. But then a solution to work together, I think what worked, what I saw was working so much is this idea of, like, in the end, just put everything on the table, be like honest with each other and just uh, make sure that, yeah, you create something together. And I think when like something is created together, then that's where a uh, real uh, meaningful collaboration can happen. And yeah, just mm -hmm. get uh, rid of also some stereotypes. Uh, maybe you could have from someone that has like a, a community garden and someone that works at the province. They are two completely different people uh, and definitely have some stereotypes from each other, I'd say, mm -hmm. but in the same time, they have like uh, the same passion, at least let's say about local food. And that's really beautiful. So it's about like breaking this um, barrier, I'd say in people's head of like, actually we still want the same, even if we are a bit different. So I still have to present thesis, which mm -hmm. will happen in 10 days now. I'm yeah, very excited about this uh, because it has been a while. So I'm like super ready to present it now. Um, mm -hmm. 
And yeah, in the same time, I am looking to, uh, yeah, for jobs and trying to figure out what I want to do after this master. And as I said, where I want to be part of which movement and how and in what direction. Uh, but yeah, in the same time, I'm also letting myself figure it out and just see what, what will come first and, and where, where I'll go, I guess. So uh, my ultimate dream will be um, to, yeah, this sounds very dramatic, but it will be to live without the fear of uh, uncertain future. Uh, well, I'm not going to explain the reason why, but yeah, I think my generation is definitely more, will definitely be more even, even more infected and uh, it's a bit scary. <laughs> so that's my ultimate dream. And then after that, yeah, I'd say, uh, having a little house somewhere in Sweden next to a lake with lots of books, a dog, lots of friends. That sounds like also a pretty cool dream to have. <laughs>